a mess Don't know how I got here but I'm blessed Didn't know it take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest Cause I'm a mess No more you
planning for our daughter's graduation cookout and uh, if you're interested in seeing how I plan and seeing what I do to set up stay tuned all right so I typically keep a lot of stuff on hand like I keep the chafing racks on on hand I keep the sternos on hand um, I keep a lot of the aluminum pans 
but I do need to go out sit typically and pick up like the whatever we're going to eat off whether it's going to be a plate or a to-go box in this case we're doing the to-go containers because it is going to be outside flies gnats hot and we want to be able to cover our food if bugs come around right and I also like to have I don't always have it but I do like to have um, cups with lids so let me show you guys what I have on hand so far um, what I've purchased and what I already had on hand as we prepare for Alyssa's 2024 graduation cookout okay so this is a start of the drinks I do need to go out and get one more coca-cola one more ginger ale and probably another sprite um, but we have tea grape soda pineapple lemonade i might get one more lemonade but these are the drinks i need to get a case of water also in this box we have the start of the hot dog and hamburger buns some ketchup relish mustard mayo i do need to add some hot sauce to this box and um i'm thinking about another pack of buns for another pack of hot dog buns and one more pack of hamburger buns as well so i picked up these styrofoam cups and the lids to go on them um i didn't i didn't have these in stock um in my little storage so i kept these i mean i had to go buy these i got straws for the cups i did get black and yellow tablecloths these i use to um keep ice in and cold drinks so they're uh inflatable as you can see so i blow those up you guys will see it once we are setting up for the cookout but i have three of these and we'll just have ice in them and sit the drinks in it um, over here, I have four packs of each, spoons and forks. These trays I have on hand, and I normally use these for like lettuce, tomato, sorry, I could, I had the camera down, lettuce, tomato, onions for like, you know, for your burgers. And then another one I like to put the, uh-oh, the forks, knives, and, I mean, fork spoons in it. I normally will add knives if I'm having anything that we need knives, but not for the cookout, we don't. I did pick up the to-go trays, so we're going to have the to-go trays, and um, she was saying that people can just label it with their name. These are the tablecloth clips to clip it to the table. These are my sterno racks, the chafing racks rather, and also in here you'll see I have a box of sternos. I have different types because I like to keep them on hand because I even use them at like Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, whenever we have guests over. So I have um, the chafing racks. These are my chafing pans. I use these for water. And then these are the ones that I put food in. So I normally like to get the deeper ones. Um, I just dropped something. Oh, I know. I use these little, I keep these. I have a lot of these different types of these. You can see that, you know, they've been used a few times. But I label, I label the, whatever the food is. Um, I like to have those up. These are napkins. Um, I picked those up today and what else is over here? I think that's all that's over here. And over here we have tents. So I have three tents for the backyard. That's a little small table um, that I'm going to set up. And then we have these three foldable tables and I am going to use um, an additional four tables. It'll be two six foot folding tables and two card tables. This table is kind of the size of a card table. So all of these will have um what do you call it tablecloths on them and we're going to set all those up and we're going to set up the tents and i think that's all that i have for now in the freezer i already have packs of drumsticks thighs um hot dogs and hamburgers we're going to have fried fish um what else we're going to those are the meats hamburgers hot dogs drumsticks and thighs we're going to grill those and then we're going to fry some fish um oh one other thing i do have these lights we have these um outdoor string lights we string these up that way once it gets dark it'll be lit outside and we can still enjoy being outside for the cookout um what else oh i just said hot dogs hamburgers fish and then the sides are going to be baked beans potato salad green like a toss salad pasta salad um and watermelon she wants watermelon and i'll probably like add some strawberries in there and also um i order cupcakes so we're gonna have cupcakes and they're gonna decorate them and with like the graduation hats and different stuff like that and um what else 
I want to say, oh, tiki torches. So whenever I have any type of gathering outside, I love to use tiki torches because they keep the bugs away, as you know. So I'm going to show you the ones that we have. And the porch still is not together because it's been raining and it's been hot. But we got to get it together because this cookout is coming like soon. So we have these bamboo torches. We have two, four. We have six of those. Those I just got. Um, but then we also have some outside that um we've had for quite some time and what i do need to do is get um look at the spider web all up in the y'all probably can't see it but it's a web all in there i do need to get um the fuel to go into the container and i need to get more of the wick so we have how many is this one two three four five six seven we have seven of these so we'll just sit them all around the yard definitely going to set them because the tents are going to go back here we'll have a food tent that's going to be set up here and then what i'm going to do as far as the ice containers go um i'm not sure if i'm going to put those on the table hold on I had y'all looking at this crazy looking yard while i was talking i'm thinking that what i'm going to do for the um ice um i don't know if i want to sit them on the porch like over some plastic or if I want to sit them on a long table, I might, mm, I don't know, now that I think about it. Because last time I had them sitting on the ground, and I didn't really care for them sitting on the ground. Um, I got to figure that out, how I want to do that. But we're definitely going to have the ice contain, ice, little ice thingies so that um, they can, you know, do the, what they need to do. Um, yeah, so that's the beginning of the prep for the cookout all right guys so we have to spray this uh, floor because since the carpet has been down it just keeps getting wet and that's like mildew so we're going to clean it but as you can see i've put the cushions back on the chairs the table is almost ready i'm going to put a tablecloth on that um i'm going to vacuum up out here move those crates i brought in the other bamboo um tiki so that they could dry because of all the rain it's going to be muggy and cloudy today it's supposed to rain tomorrow but hopefully it holds off so i will be back to show y'all what it's looking like after we transform it for the cookout y'all don't pay attention to me in my road And then it's like the thinner parts towards the ground. When they were putting it together, uh, it kept coming apart. So this is like a four person job. Yeah. At this point, this is where they like you should put the thing on top of it. Okay. And then I think to make it easier, we should probably put this the six inside the stand first. That way we don't have to lift the whole thing. Okay.
like to talk. I do. Wait, is this the wrong top? Because I think. Let me go get the other one. Let me go get the other top. Now it is. Maybe I watched a little too much Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Who knows? So are we gonna <laughs> put those the bottoms in now? I was gonna. I was just putting these in that way it's easier. Okay. Because then if we did these last, we'd have to lift the whole okay. tent. Huh? It might be short then. Oh, it's because these are connected. You have a whole nother top. I thought you got both of them. This is frustrating. Huh? You just did it there? Where you want to put the other thing? So we got all three tents up, but we're going to put the windows on those two. Those two have windows that go on the sides. And um, yeah, at least we got the hard part done. And we have a tea torch burning over here, right there. We had it over closer to the tent. Um, I don't know if you can see the ones that I have on the ground. You can see that little baby light. I had some over here. I had all of these like little stick kind. Can you see that? Yeah. I had these um, back over there where we were working at. So yard is cut. The tents are up. And now the porch is <laughs> a mess again. These are the windows that um, we have to put on the tents. So each those two tents over back there we'll get two, um, no, it's one, two, I think it's three windows, three sides that have windows. One, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. So we'll figure those out tomorrow though. We tired. Now I'm ready to take all this junk. The porch is still a mess. So it's gonna be a long night and an early morning. Oh, but look at these cute little tabletop tiki torches, tiki's that I found on Amazon. So I'm gonna put some fuel in these and put them on the tables outside. And then I have this yard cutter. I always use this on the grass. And then I also have extra um, coils. Oops. I use extra coils. The tent that's gonna not have windows, definitely gonna use these because um, I'm actually probably gonna use the other ones the little black ones because they keep the bugs away and then these are extra um wicks for all of our torches so now i'm um, gonna take the box this box to put it in the recycle bin and then i'm gonna take the other boxes back upstairs and i'm gonna take a shower and get in the kitchen because i need to boil the potatoes for the potato salad <sighs> clean the chicken and season the chicken all of that is tonight
it's going to be a long night and i still have not eaten dinner and it's going on 10 o'clock yeah so i'm gonna go take a shower like i said and then i will get back with y'all tomorrow good night all right so it's all set up everything is set up we have the back porch all together and i have her high school cap and gown set up and all the things that she made in school and this was her goal to graduate with a fashion degree in 24 which she did and these are pieces that she made and here is her 2024 cap and gown this is her main piece that was in the show y'all saw that so we have it out on a mannequin and now let's go outside so i can show you how we set it up so this is where we're gonna fry fish at and i tried to stick to yellow and black tablecloths these are those little citronella candles or burners for bugs i put our little tarps back out just to cover it and we got the grill going set up about to turn that on and then we have the tiki torches all throughout the yard um and then i have my dishes my chafing sets that i showed y'all earlier uh, but everything is all set up. I put water in them already, so I'll just have to light the sternos when the food comes out. That's gonna be cold, like cold sides right there. I'm gonna put ice in the bottom. And then we have our condiments and drinks over here. Drinks in here, we have like um, some coolers, some Mike's Hard and Seagram's, cause she likes those. And then we're gonna put bags of ice in there for drinking and a little citronella plant there but this is how we do it this is how we set it up for the cookout now i need to go inside throw the salad together make this quick potato salad and um i'm pleased everything came out and we decided to not to go with the windows because it's not really a lot of sun out i mean it's nice the skies are looking good god is blessing us keeping the rain away it was supposed to rain today but y'all know i was praying i need to figure out how to stand this tiki torch up because this one keeps falling this one of the old ones and it's leaking dog i gotta figure out how to set this up because i don't want to i don't want to waste my fluid but it looks like it's wasting anyway but anyway y'all i gotta go and i'll be back a little bit later on ah don't fall <laughs>